This is Shamata Msuela, an 18-year-old young woman living in Jorza Township in Grahamstown. She has left her home in Port Alfred in the hopes of one day becoming the first scientist in her family. Shamata is trying to improve her marks and is aiming to achieve a bachelor's pass by attending the Gatra Matric School. Uh, I, I expected a lot. Uh, Bachelor was there, was the symbol I was waiting for, but it didn't come out. Uh, I was expecting maybe around about 60 and above in science, but that didn't happen. I just got lower than that. Scientists are otherworldly creatures that eat metal for food, never sleep and never get anything wrong. But that never seems to be the case. Dr. Shivani Mishra puts the human back into science. Born in a strict military background, the option of failure was non-existent. But she has failed on more than one account. With all her failures in hand, She's now an accomplished researcher at the University of South Africa, second runner-up in the Women in Science Award 2016, acknowledged as a fellow of the Royal Society of Chemistry, and the list is endless. My marks were not good enough to be a scientist, okay? But it was like, yes, I can opt for science, okay? So now the thing was like, uh, the teacher was not ready uh, to offer me science. He actually told that I may do good in history or social science or anything which is not science. <laughs> when I was in grade 8, I didn't know what, uh, which subject to choose uh, till I got to grade 9. And then uh, I got an advice from my teachers that uh, I'm good in the side of science and I wanted to do something with pharmacy. I, was not, uh, I didn't know what pharmacy is, but I was so eager to do it. But my mother, when, when she got the results that I got a diploma and then she asked me what to do, I was like, I don't know, because I got no university to go to. And then she said, okay, I know uh, uh, improving school at Grahamstown, which is Gedra. Do you want to go there? I was like, if it's going to put me where I want to be, it's fine then. Okay, write A plus B um, with the equilibrium sign C and D, and then write in the number of moles B. It has been a difficult times because uh, I was, I made on, uh, I made disappointed many people in my life uh, when I was growing up in school. Uh, first, my teachers who ex who actually told me not to do science, and I was so adamant to do science, and that by one mark, I was pushed back to do science again, to the to do the grade again. So. Uh, that one mark changed my life forever. I felt like crying because a diploma to me feels like I've failed. Diploma to me feels and then like it feels like um, I, I haven't done much. Like, um, I haven't put I much effort on my work. So I, I felt like uh, so something just I fell like, on my shoulders. Uh, that something just I just fell on got my used to that. that. Just like okay, it's fine. Got used. Going to Gertra, uh, I feel like I am going somewhere. Indeed, I am. So going there, it's. Totally helpful. After Gedra, I would be grateful if I would go to Rhodes. In 2016, 55 Gadra Matrix students qualified to study at Rhodes University. In an attempt to make Shamata's dream seem more tangible, the pharmacy department at Rhodes University allowed her to have a tour of their labs one afternoon, showing her what her future could possibly look like. Being in a lab was, was quite scary first, but it was exciting. It was a great experience because I had to see uh, how the real life will be for me. The annual science festival held at Settlers Monument in Grahamstown exposes many young students to the field of science. These learners attend workshops where teachers find alternative ways of making science fun.
Shomata has never been to Cyfest. So she attended a lecture held by Dr. Mishra in the hopes that their paths would meet and they could share their stories of dedication and never giving up. Whenever we have to rise in our life, we have to find those challenges. I get disappointments every day. <laughs> Discouraged every day. Maybe somebody is speaking something about me and maybe I'm not getting the results I want. Yeah, I got disappointed by that. Yeah. But by getting uh, the, the results I, I didn't expect mm -hmm. and all that, but people don't actually disappoint me or that. Okay, that's good. But I got disappointed academically. No problem. You, if, I, if I have to tell my story, you will laugh. Once you have disappointed your family and you are all in tears and pain and the, you know those uh, I don't know what I'm doing with me, how my life will be. Your life is in your hand. Accept the failures. Fix up the failures and move. You can do it. She gave me strength not to give up on doing what I want to do. And then she motivated, like, giving me her background makes me, uh, it made me like feel like, okay, at least it's not only me who's going to face these challenges, at least there's someone who faced them. So to convert myself from ordinary to extraordinary, I have to that add extra hard work, extra patience, extra struggle, extra sacrifice, extra persistence, extra patience, and whatever extra comes into that. Okay, so did I do that? If I'm not, then I should not expect myself to be extraordinary. Simple.